Alrighty, sup everyone, it's your disgusting Kingdom Hearts Wii Blue X here, and welcome back to another video. So recently on my recent video on Don Sobel's review on Elden Ring, I received quite a few comments in my comment section actually, so let's take a read, shall we? He did post a video and he doesn't care about my birthday. He deleted it so fast so I didn't even see it. One of the people told me in the comments. And I replied, really he did? I guess he deleted it so quickly that he thought he could get away with that. Dan is such a coward. And he replied, yes he did really. I even asked him, do you at least have downloaded that video? I believe I know quite a few people who has an archive channel that can archive the videos for you. And then he answered, I I have not downloaded that video. I was at work. Do you know someone who can archive that video? Because I want to see if the if the people try to tell me on my birthday post on YouTube, they both told me what Don Sobel did to me. I just saw the video, I believed them. They didn't download it or screen record it. They just see the video and it messed up and wrong Don Sobo did to me. I didn't do anything wrong to, with him. He knows my birthday. He just didn't even care. He probably... My birthday was coming up on his Facebook. Guys. I appreciate that you enjoy my videos on Don Sobel's review on Elden Ring. I truly love the engagement of my channel. But if you're going to inform someone else or me that Don Sobel did something that is completely reprehensible, you need to screen record it or at the very least download the video before Dan tries to hide anything. Otherwise, not only you'd be wasting my time, but you're also wasting his time as well because you let him in the wild goose chase. And I checked Don Sobel's Facebook and I have not found anything that would link him uploading a video that would criminate him to basically ruin this guy's birthday apparently. Which, I have not found anything. So far, it was just reposting about someone's drawings of fucking Blue's Clues. Like, oh my god, if I ever see another drawings of Blue's Clues, I'm going to have a fucking migraine. I am so sorry about that, folks. It's just, it's really frustrating when people try to inform someone without providing any proof. I, it's been a constant problem on the internet nowadays. But speaking of that one said individual informed that guy, we will get to that in a minute, so let's just continue reading off the screenshots, shall we? I said, well, if I remember correctly, there's two that I know of, both Rob Archive and Idiot Archives. If you want, I could give you both links of their channels if you like. And he said, of course, give me the links. Which I did provide both links of their channels, and he thanked me for providing such intel. But before I left the comment section, I even leave out this comment right here. Just a quick question before I head out. The person who informed you about Don Sobel's video on you, is it Dudu Shaggy 3 a 25 the one who informed you on your birthday community post by any chance? And he answered, that's correct, that's the user who told me and informed me about Don Sobel's post, that video on my birthday. And you might be asking yourselves, Blue X, who the hell is this doo doo shaggy's person you speak of? Well, this is the individual right here, who has indeed informed him about Don Sobel's birthday video on him. Now granted, I don't know if that's true, I never actually watched the video, so I don't know for certain if that video exists or not. But anyway, he did leave out a comment on his birthday community post. You can check out his birthday community post, by the way. Now, what's even more shocking? Well, you're about to find out right now, actually. 
I said, it's funny because that same person who defended Dan Sobel on Sheldon's talks video on him on the same day that he informed you about Dan's video on you. Now if you guys don't know the full context of which Sheldon's video I was referring to, obviously I was referring to his video on him roasting and confronting Don Sobel part 3. Now in that video, Dan admitted that he is indeed a zoophile. I am a zoophile for licking the dog's tongue, Sheldon. Ew! No. Zoophile, Damn, you're fucking you admit, uh, That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm okay, talking strong. about. That's what Congratulations, you played yourself. Yeah, not gonna lie, fam. You completely screwed yourself over by you admitting during that confrontation call that you're literally a zoophile, aka the animal rapist. Like, how many times do I have to keep explaining to you, old man? Animals cannot give consent, meaning they have a brain capacity of a two-year-old. We humans can only consent to other human beings. That's just how it works. Do you know how many bacterias so many bacterias that animals contain. Jesus Christ, that would that is extremely harmful to humans. But apparently these zoo fuckers don't really seem to think the risk of having illegal intercourse with a non-human species. But who would dare save his ass during the day? Yeah. No, shockingly, it was the same guy who made this comment saying he, Dan has a great moral character and we're just jealous haters. I'm surrounded by idiots. Highest moral character of what? Highest moral character of what? Bruh, he literally admits being a zoophile during that call. The fuck do you mean by that? Highest moral character, my ass. I find it really ironic that you called us jealous haters for Dan Sobel's supposed content talent. But I have a better question for you. Why should I be jealous of someone who doesn't know how to edit his own videos to make their content better? If anything, he should be jealous of me. Because I put a lot of work in few of my videos. I put a lot more elbow and grease in my few edited videos in the past. Mainly my Master Duel Online Duel series when I use Black Horn of Heaven. Take a closer look. No, that is one true video editing beauty. The cringe! The cringe! I apologize to you all for my unbearable cringe. I deeply apologize for that. But that's just one of few examples that my content has improved. Wish I could say the same with Dan. So let the taste test begin! Like, come on guys, let's be realistic here. Which one do you rather watch? Some unedited bullshit that holds no entertainment value? Or another video who has put quite a bit of work to edit as much as possible to make it as entertaining as possible. Now granted, I'm stroking my ego just a bit tad, but come on now. It's a little disingenuous to think that Dan is a true artist as you stated in that comment. 
but in reality, it's just unedited garbage. Especially his taste test videos. And trust me, it was absolutely worst content I ever seen. His co cookie monster impression doesn't impress anyone. If anything, it was just cringe. Now, if he's an impressionist comedian, perhaps. But voice actor? That is a huge stretch. Like, come on. Be realistic, guys. I can think of one of two things why he made those two comments at the same time. It's either A, he has a really change of heart, or he's just doing this for internet clout. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's just my speculation. Oh, and Dan, if you're watching this video, I want to confirm something. Is it really true that you uploaded a rude birthday video i don't know what the title of the video is but i'm pretty sure you know what it is so let's get straight to the point do you really upload that unhappy birthday video thing that you said to that guy in particular or not because i have not seen the video so i don't know the full context if that's actually true let's hear your response I would love to hear your explanation on um, and also you over there I forgot your name is happy late birthday sorry I was late for your birthday but you know what they say better late than never right but with that being said I think that will be enough for today if you enjoyed this video if you do give a like subscribe if you're new to my channel Follow me on social media and hit the notification bells for my future videos. Tomorrow I will have to make a response video towards Perfection Natural Selection's recent copyright abusing antics. Stay tuned for that. Now, with that being said, take care fam.